What's going on, fellas? It's your main man back on the scene with another video. Check this article out. The insanely broad restrict act could ban much more than just TikTok. I'm going to link the U.S. government page so you can read that bill for yourself and come to your own conclusion. Let's see what these folks have to say. Digital rights experts told Motherboard the restrict act, which may be used to ban TikTok could impact many other types of services too, including VPNs. Now that I do not like. Let's get into this. The Restrict Act, a proposed piece of legislation which provides one way the government might ban TikTok contains insanely broad language that and could lead to other apps and communication services with connections to foreign countries being banned in the U.S. Multiple digital rights experts told Motherboard. The bill could have implications not just for social networks, but potentially security tools such as virtual private networks that consumers use to encrypt and route their traffic, one said. Although the intention of the bill is to target apps or services that pose a threat to national security, these critics worry it may have much broader, have much wider implications for the First Amendment. The Restrict Act is concerning, is a concerning distraction with insanely broad language that raises serious human and civil rights concerns. William Escado, U.S. Policy Analyst for Digital Rights Organization, Access Now, told Motherboard in an emailed statement. Do you know anything else about Restrict Act? We'd love to hear from you. Using a non-work number or computer, you can contact Joseph Cox securely on Signal at blah, blah, blah. R Rihanna, what's this? Pfefferkorn, researcher, and if I butcher your name, don't beat me up, scholar at the Stanford Internet Observatory, told Motherboard in an email, this bill certainly is troubling in that it would great gr a grant would Grant a great amount of power to the executive branch that would be unsettling in any context. Recent examples around the world from Israel to China are showing us the risk that arise from upsetting checks and balances to favor executive power. You know, basically, if you do that, that's kind of like making the president like a king or something. So it's, that was the purpose of having checks and balances, and balances in the first place. Well, so that, that one branch would get too powerful. It absolutely does implicate these free speech rights for Congress to give the president the power to take appropriate action up to and including banning against particular ITS, ICTS in the name of national security or American security and safety. Even if you trust Joe Biden with his power, would you trust Donald Trump? who tried to ban TikTok as well, as well as WeChat while in office with it, she added. So we know she has Trump derangement syndrome. And I wouldn't trust either one of them. I don't trust none of you. I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat. I don't trust none of you, man. Forget that. Like, one party's better than the other. You have to vote your interest. You can't just side with one party because then they don't respect you black folks i'm not gonna read all this you see what they're saying i'm gonna link the actual bill or petition in the description box so you can read it for yourselves you know always do your due diligence don't take anyone's word for anything so that's it guys i'm gonna wrap it up do your brother man a favor, smash that like button and subscribe. And I will see you fellas in the next video. Peace.